Are you ready for the book club, Toby? Yes, you are. Come on. Come on, little boy. Come on. Hi, guys. This is Jean here from Happy Indulgence. And we're about to head off to our first Name of the Book Club meet. And we've been organizing this for months. So it's exciting that it's finally coming out. And I can't wait to meet you guys all and see what um, happens. I've been reading Assassin's Apprentice and uh, some of you may know that I did not enjoy it at all because of all the dog killing. So I'm keen to see how many of you guys have actually read it and also what you guys thought about it. So I'm just going to get Toby ready and uh, we're going to meet up with Piera beforehand just to get ready, get all his energy out before we meet you guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Dog park little boy. Come on. I'm in my car, Toby's in the car, and we're about to head off, so I can't wait! Yay! Hi, Toby! No, don't go in the mud, no. This is Pira! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hello, good little boy! <laughs> He's actually doing pretty well today. Look at him! Oh, this is like my favorite place ever. Alright, so I'm here at the dog park with Pierre and we're gonna get some food. How does that sound? And Sounds some coffee. I'm just, I can't take my eye off your dog. I know, good. <laughs> you can be his babysitter. 100% will do. So are Happy you ready, day. Miss? I read 30 pages. Oh, look, no, but I also read the spark notes and I watched, oh, a, few, I watched a few okay. reviews. So All right. I have a We're general ready. gist of what happened. Look at that puppy on. Alright. Your dog is in the mud. Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, <laughs> I bet it here. Yeah. Toby just went straight into the mud. <laughs> <laughs> it just rolled in this mud puddle. Oh goodness gracious, I can't wait. Look at this coffee! Muddy dog. Muddy dog. Aren't you cute? Muddy dog. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Bye, Spitzy. Look at that muddy dog. Yeah, this is great. This is a great start to the morning. Just so you know. Um, the muddiest of dogs. <laughs> he's gonna go and come. Look at this one. He's like, what have you guys got? Have you got treats? <laughs> Can I come? All right, so I've got my coffee now and I left here with Toby and I have no idea where I'm going. Oh yes, I see it. I see it. So it looks like there's people there already and uh, yeah, about to get started. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone! Dina's also blonde. Yes, um, if, if you want to. Hi! <laughs> Thanks for coming! We just finished talking about Assassin's Apprentice and uh, Yes, people yeah. showed up. Yes, like this people. Hi everyone. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we had a good time Yay. doing our book club and Sarah is going to continue reading the book but I won't because I hated it. But yeah, there were a few people who loved it and a few people who didn't. I'm surprised and that there were that many people who liked it after all the bad reviews I've seen. Mainly mine, yes. let's be honest. <laughs> yes, we've just finished our book club. <laughs> and there's dogs. Hi guys, so we're home from our first book club meeting and like but I'm just so thankful that there were people who turned up and that you guys came along. I had a really great time actually. It was good discussing the book and hearing all the different opinions that everyone had about that book. I mean, I really wasn't a fan, but it was interesting to see why people liked it and 
whether you'll continue with this series. But yeah, mainly I'm just really happy that it all went well and we'll be doing our next book club, which is Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, and that will be held the night after the launch. So there's super limited tickets for that one, so make sure you guys get in if you're interested. I can't wait to be doing more bookish things with you guys and I'm completely stoked with how it all went down. So if you haven't heard of the name of the book club, it's a monthly fantasy and sci-fi book club held on Little Book Owl, Pierre Ford and my channels and uh, it's a physical group in Brisbane and Sydney that meet up once a month and sometimes we have special guests and we'll see where we go from here. But because I've already started vlogging and I don't know, <laughs> this vlog is pretty much going to be like 80% dogs and 20% books, I think. I'll probably keep on vlogging the rest of the day because I had a fun doing it and uh, yeah so today's international tabletop day so I'm going to go to a friend's house we're going to get food and play some tabletop games for the rest of the day that's pretty much all you'll see of Toby that's a lot that you're seeing of Toby today yeah that's pretty much it guys so let's see how we go along I am off to the post office now because I realized that I've got my fanciful box which I just became a rep for obviously back from the post office which with my fanciful box and this is a YA subscription box that is Australian based and you can use my code which is happy5 for a 5% discount and uh, this box is the fit for a crown box that was the March edition. Oh, that's a spoiler card, so I'm not going to look at it. So I'm just going to be doing my unboxing. So this is a fanciful box card, which is super pretty. Do a bit of a dig around because I haven't seen what's in this box yet. This is a pin that says safe as life and it's pretty cool. It's got some library card thing. And it's actually wooden, which I really like as well. So that's from Kit Crunk Studio, which is really cool. And Toby seems to like it too. Hopefully not too much. Let's see what else there is. Oh, so there's another card here and it says monkey proof clothing. So I'm guessing that they made this tote bag or canvas bag and it says I am the blood of the dragon I must be strong I must have fire in my eyes when I face them not tears so I love canvas bags I'm guessing this is like Game of Thrones related so that's really cool as well Toby's totally eating the little thingies oh my gosh such a silly little boy what else is there do not eat that tote bag. The next thing I see is a candle from Novel Sense Co. And this is Lady of Winter. The scent is berries and snow, which is an Akatar inspired soy candle. That's an exclusive. Oh, look how pretty it is. It's this pretty pale, creamy blue color. It smells amazing. I can't really quite describe it, but it smells a bit like candy with the berry scent, but the snow sort of tempers it a little. All right, so that is the book. It's the tail mail. I'm just gonna dig around because, ooh, this is a Neverland bookmark by Margot McGovern and it's signed, which is really cool. She has a Peter Pan retelling out that's sort of like a dark read. And then next thing I see is this magnetic bookmark from Read and Wonder. I'm not sure who the character is, but I'm loving it all the same. It's so cute. So I'm just going to have a look at the tail mail now. It says, pull me out. Clue for next month's tail mail, which is a little poison looking thing. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to unbox this now and see what's in here. I saw spoilers on Instagram this morning, but I can't remember. Lucky I have a bad memory. Um... So, let's have a look. Oh, yes! Yes, it is Ash Princess, which I'm so excited about because I've heard really, really good things from a lot of readers and um, came with a bookmark, which is signed by the author. So, the author is Laura Sebastian. The time has come for little birds to fly. It's got a signed book plate and the book itself, it's a paperback and it's super gorgeous. I've heard this is actually a bit of a darker read. Um, so here's a blurb at the back. 
Apparently there's lots of murder, there's abuse, apparently there's also psychological and mental abuse in here, but I've been really liking these um, darker fantasy reads lately, like um, Rain the Earth as well, because it's just something a bit different, so I'm just going to put together everything that came in this fanciful box. Yeah, so that is the March Fit for a Crown fanciful box. I really enjoyed this one. I love the candle. I love the pin. Actually, I love everything. The magnetic bookmark. And I can't wait to read this book. So thank you for the guys for sending this one to me. As always, use my rep code HAPPY5 for a discount off your next subscription. Yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Alrighty, so we are off to our friend's house to play some games for International Tabletop Day. And um, I'm not sure if I'll vlog there because it's a bit weird and they'll be like, Jean, what are you doing? Why are we in your video? But uh, yeah, anyway, that should be a lot of fun. So let's see how it goes. My friend's house with tabletop day and I'm getting ready for bed obviously because that was a really long day it was really fun but gosh it's only 8 30 and I'm obviously already in bed because I'm super tired but um yeah so well I was at my friend's house we played three games so we started off with a game called magic maze and basically it's a game where all of you guys can move at the same time but you've only got one action I found it a bit stressful at times because everyone had different goals Goals and you couldn't talk which was the other trick as well so everyone's trying to do a different thing at once so that was an interesting game more about team dynamics and the next game that we played is one I played before called camel cup and it's basically about camels racing and you're betting on these camels so I had a lot of fun with that one we played one round of that and then we finished off with a game called pictomania I really enjoyed that one and I might look at getting that one because it's basically like like Pictionary but everyone gets to draw at the same time rather than making two teams you're all guessing what everyone else drawings is at the same time so that was a lot of fun as well and as you can see there's like so many funny drawings that came out of that so there was a lot of laughs it's good for parties anyway that was a big big day but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog following me on my weekend adventures with the book club with the unboxing and tabletop day and yeah if you enjoyed this vlog or you want me to do any similar videos like this please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and yeah subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks guys. I'm going to bed now. Bye.